So Morris breaking off then in the frame. He has to win to keep his hopes alive. Not a great break off shot. He's brought the red up the table and he hasn't covered it. Just caught the pack too thick. I think uh, Matthew can cut this one in. It's just a question of uh, where the white finishes. Uh, nicely poised now, Phil, isn't it, on these two quarterfinals? 4 2 on both tables. The favourites living up to their billing at the moment, at least. It was a thin cut. He needs to hit something. Yeah, sorry, he needs to hit something here. Well, thicker contact would have been nice. board he didn't want to hit that any more than that because it would have slid off that red and left Matthew a red on it very nearly did didn't it it mm. just stuck on the red when another couple of millimeters further down and Stevens would have had a nice easy starter with the black to follow touching ball has been declared so we can play away from this red then deemed to have hit it already what you can't do is move a touching ball deliberately because that is a foul. Because you're deemed to have pushed it, presumably. Mm. Yeah. I've seen occasions, Phil, where the white is finished in the middle of the pack when the player has potted the ball, not a colour on and not a way out either. And then they have to play nominate a colour and play directly towards that colour through the pack. It doesn't happen very often that, but all of a sudden, you know, the occasion where you've potted the ball, white's gone into the pack and the reds have come back in behind it. So you can't help but play a foul. No. There's no other way out. You've got to nominate a colour, but you, you, what you've got to do is aim directly at that colour, even if you have to go through two or three reds. Bit of a minefield, the snooker rule book, isn't it? There's all sorts. It's not quite as bad as the golf rules book, is it? Just saw the backspin take effect there. Once he's gunning into those two reds, nicely on the pink. Got the only chance here for David to try and claw one back. Yes, he's been rather frozen out, hasn't he, in the mm. last couple of frames. Stevens has been dominating the table since the mid-session interval. Perhaps it's his turn now. Twenty-one. 
Is it wide? Oh, well, I think that's known as going going in through the side door. It did look as though he might have pinched a bit too much there. And it dropped in, that's all that counts. Well, this one doesn't drop. Overcut it. He's done that a few times today. Cost him the opening frame. A couple of missed blacks off their spots when he got the angles a little wrong. Yep, I'm afraid so. Just starting to look good, and then he's thrown one in. I think Stevens was distracted there by yet more noise or perhaps some movement in the crowd, and there goes another mobile phone. Well, it's the bane of any s professional snooker player's well, life because <coughs> so much concentration required at this level of the game. Well, you know, I, I don't understand why they can't just check them before they come back into the arena. They should be doing that, really, put it on silent mode. Even before this, the match starts, you know, just put it on silent mode. Stevens has managed to keep his concentration. Half a chance here to put the match to bed. Plenty of work to do, of course. He trails by 28. Looked to split the pack, did a pretty good job. How's his luck with position? Not good. Oh, well, he has the brown, and with that red hanging over the opposite centre pocket, this isn't so bad after all. Mm, much easier now. A definite chance to win frame and match. Well, he deserved a bit of luck there, didn't he? Because it was a terrific shot Yeah. to split the pack of reds. Very positive from Stevens. Looking to go for the jugular. Fortunate that that red didn't drop, made all the difference. You'll well. take it. Yes, position would have been a lot trickier from the brown had that red not hung invitingly over the lip of the pocket. But fortune tends to favour the brave in this game. And he's looking confident now, David Morris reflecting on that error. When he was in, he hasn't made too many mistakes this afternoon. Stevens has just managed to find an extra level since he Eight. squared the match at two all. He's looking pretty ruthless right now. Very early stages of the seventh frame. Table one, by the way. John Higgins needs just one more frame. He led 4-1 against Joe Perry. Perry's pulled one back, and he's at the table on a break of 15 at the start of that seventh frame. So that match still has some way to travel. 20. Is he okay? 
slightly anxious look there from Matthew. I think he's all right. 